Cobra Kai Season 4's alternative ending would have changed Season 5 in four ways. Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video. Cobra Kai disclosed they shot an alternative Season 4 ending where Sam won the All Valley. Here's how that result would have altered Season 5's story. But before we start, know that if you did not watch Season 4, be aware that the following will be full of spoilers. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and try to be the first to like and comment on the video. Plus, turn on notifications so that you won't miss any of the new videos. Do that now to help us reach a lot more fans of Cobra Kai out there. An alternative ending to Cobra Kai Season 4 that was shot would have transformed Season 5 in four meaningful manners. Cobra Kai Season 4 ended with Tori Nichols beating Samantha LaRusso to triumph in the Girls All Valley Under 18 Karate Championship. As per the bet that was made in Cobra Kai Season 3, the dojo success implied that Daniel LaRusso and Johnny Lawrence must shut down their dojos, Miyagi-Do and Eagle Fang Karate. However, Tori later discovered that her sensei, Terry Silver, bribed the referee so that she could prevail in the All Valley finale. The cast and the developers of Cobra Kai celebrated the show on May 5, 2022, with Cobra Kai live in Bad A and Microsoft Theater in Los Angeles, where they announced the teaser trailer for Cobra Kai Season 5. But as a bonus treat for the audience, Mary Mauser revealed the clip of the alternative conclusion produced where Sam scored the final point and defeated Tori for the All Valley Championship, concluded with a victory festivity. William Zavka and Ralph Macchio said that the alternative ending was filmed for the actress in the crowd and to avoid spoilers leaking. Macchio also pointed out that Sam won the All Valley fairly, unlike Tori in the alternative version. Zapka confirmed to everyone that Tori winning was forever the prepared season 4 result. But he also suggested there was a possibility it might have been altered in the editing room if Cobra Kai's executive producers chose to go on a distinctive path. The fact that footage of Sam LaRusso triumphing Cobra Kai Seasons 4 All Valley exists is captivating. It suggests there's an alternative universe where Cobra Kai Season 5 could have been a significantly alternative show. The Cobra Kai cast actually fooled around on stage that it's like there's a Cobra Kai multiverse where other components could direct to alternative realities. Tori Nichols is a definitive winner of the 51st annual All Valley Under 18 Karate Tournament. Even if she learned she won due to silver cheating, it's entertaining to examine how Cobra Kai Season 5 would have been a very different if Sam had won instead. Johnny would go after Miguel in Mexico, but what happens when he's back? Johnny's narrative at the beginning of Cobra Kai Season 5 would still have centered on Miguel, even if Samantha LaRusso won the tournament. Miguel would have still left the valley before seeing Sam beat Tori and gotten on a bus to Mexico City to locate his real father. And Johnny's son would have still been rocked by failing at the All Valley Men's Final versus Hawk and recognizing his failure to keep his protege, Kenny Payne, from falling to the dark side of karate. Finally, Johnny's tearful reunion would still have occurred. In a different reality, in Cobra Kai Season 5, Robbie and Johnny would still go after Miguel in Mexico City, just as the Cobra Kai Season 5 trailer indicates. When they return to the valley, we can ask ourselves if Johnny would return to a scheme where he and Daniel's partnership is still untouched as they run both of their dojos. But in general, Johnny really got what he constantly desired throughout Cobra Kai, a new start with Robbie at the end of Season 4. It probably would have occurred either way had Sam won the Karate Championship. So it will be intriguing what Johnny accomplishes next in Cobra Kai Season 5 which may not be distinct from the different branches in a reality where Sam won the All-Valley Karate Tournament. How Sam winning the All-Valley would change Tori and her. Sam LaRusso triumphing in the tournament would have modified Cobra Kai Season 5 and her, but not necessarily for the better. In Cobra Kai Season 4, Sam adopted Johnny's instructions and Eagle Fang's more fierce and bad-A karate fashion to the shame of her father Daniel. He authorized Sam to mix Eagle Fang and Miyagi-Do styles to beat Tori. The modified ending would have made perfect sense that Sam's combined fighting strategy would have dominated Tori. A victorious Sam would have also suggested Miyagi-Do and Eagle Fang won their great rivalry with Cobra Kai, but Sam wouldn't have been humiliated by losing to Nichols.
as heartbreaking as it was. In fact, Sam's success would have led to a swelled head and further taped into the dark side. As for Nichols, losing to Sam may have been less painful than discovering she succeeded the All Valerie thanks to Terry cheating. Tori supposed she could beat LaRusso on her own values, and she felt she did until she discovered Terry Silver greased the wheel for her. This totally took the happiness out of Tori's competition. On the other hand, had Nichols lost, she could have still found Terry cheated on her behalf. As backstab as she would sense, Tori could at least take consolation that she didn't lose to LaRusso because Sam was a better karate fighter. Either way, Tori is still bound to retaliate against Terry somehow in Cobra Kai Season 5. But had Sam LaRusso won, Tori could have felt like the better worthy, uncrowned All Valley Champion rather than knowing she didn't actually succeed because she was better than Sam. Daniel wouldn't have called Chosen, yet. Daniel would have been riding high if Sam LaRusso won the All Valley Karate Tournament. It would have suggested the LaRussos would be the first father-daughter duo to become All Valley Karate Champions ever. Daniel LaRusso would also probably start recruiting more new students for his dojo after it becomes evident that Terry would have revoked the oath to shut down Cobra Kai. But probably, Daniel wouldn't have reached out to Chosen as his support if Samantha won the All Valley Karate Tournament. On the contrary, Daniel might have sensed that he and Johnny could manage Terry independently. But with Lawrence leaving the city to get Miguel Diaz back from Mexico, Daniel might have contacted Chosen, perhaps to help him operate both Miyagi-Do and Eagle Fang Dojos in Johnny's absence. Of course, the circumstances for Chosen evening the odds versus Silver wouldn't be out of despair on Daniel's side. But Daniel would presumably have called his Miyagi-Do Karate cousin for support earlier rather than later in Season 5. Terry Silver's Cobra Kai plans would change, but he'll still backstab Kreese. Sam triumphing in the Old Valley Karate Tournament would have cut Silver's grand strategies for Cobra Kai off at the knees. Terry banked on Tori, and their dojo was succeeding in fueling his plan to open Cobra Kai franchises across the San Fernando Valley, which was already well underway before the tournament actually took place. Samantha beating Nichols would have destroyed Terry's growth plan. Daniel LaRusso manipulated Cobra Kai in The Karate Kid Part 3 and killed Silver's idea back in 1985. Nevertheless, it's doubtful that Silver would honor the conditions of the bet and shut down Cooper Kai if Sam won the All Valley Tournament. Terry's loophole would likely have been that it was a deal Johnny and Daniel made with John, not him. Silver would find a method to keep Cooper Kai active no matter what, and he'll be out for retaliation. Meanwhile, Terry would have still crossed Crease. Silver's ruse to frame John for the attempted murder of Stingray was in motion before the tournament. Terry wanted exact revenge for how his best friend Crease treated him and Silver wanted full authority over the Cobra Kai Kingdom. So John's destiny would have stayed identical and he would still have been charged with attempted murder. At least the aspect of Terry's schemes would have worked out as he planned even if Samantha won the tournament. We can't wait for Season 5 to be released on September 9th. In the meantime, watch Cobra Kai Season 4 now on Netflix. And that wraps it up for today's video. We love to mix a little bit of speculation with facts. Please let us know your theories about this upcoming season in the comments. And before leaving, be sure to check out our excellent Cobra Kai playlists. Are you a true fan of Cobra Kai? What do you think about all that? What are your expectations for Season 5? Just share your thoughts in the comments section now. Would you like to see Mike Barnes or Julie Pierce return to the Cobra Kai universe? What do you think about Terry Silver and Chosen returning to Cobra Kai? Let us know what you think in the comment section now. We take time to read and like every comment. We can't wait for the release of Cobra Kai Season 5. So stay tuned to the channel for more news about Cobra Kai. And if you like this video and would like to hear from us again, click the subscribe button below before leaving so we know that you enjoyed our video. Also, don't forget to go watch our other videos. See you next time!